We should all be sweaty messes right now. Nobody's coming out of this looking pretty. Okay. Welcome to your metabolic conditioning routine. All you need for today's workout, two set of weights, one heavier, one light, and a mat, and uh, a distraction if you have some distractions handy. So let's start warming up here. I want to say a very special thank you right off the bat to Motion Tracks for letting us use this soundtrack for our workout today. We appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much. So from here, let's make this march a high knee. We're gonna step up and lift that knee to the chest. Just kind of let that opposite arm swing into it. Engage those abs, pull them in tight to your spine. Keep that great posture going here. Good. Now we're gonna make that swing a reach. Take your arm up. Keep it in opposition to the knee. Stretch to that side. Really reach out. Good. That's it. Now just hold it here. Feet come hip width apart. Give me an easy, gentle squat. So we're gonna push the hips back. We're bending the knees behind the toes. Just sit back into an imaginary chair. Now one of the things we're gonna do today are squats. And I want you to watch your form. Checking in the shoulders. We tend to slouch forward as we sit back into the hips. Think about sticking your chest out the entire time. Keep your chin connected to your chest so you don't stress out your neck. Give me four more here. Good. Stand through both feet, toes and heels evenly. Take it down, just give me a pulse right here. Sitting back into the hips. Good, now from here, we're just gonna bring the feet together. Step in. Now bring that right foot out. Yeah. Come back to the center. Keep pulsing low. Left foot steps out. Beautiful. Give me two counts in the middle. Two count side. Two center. Two side. One more set like this. Here and side. Take it in. Good. Now we're going to single it out and add some arms. We come in, down, and up. Reach lower and high. Keep sitting back in your hips. Bending the knees as the feet come together. Good. Get low. Reach. Feel the heart rate coming up a little bit? I do. Good. We want the entire body nice and warm, ready to go. Give me two more. You got it. Now just hold it here. Walk it out. We're going to do some rear lunges. So make sure you have room behind you. I'm going to turn on the angle here so I can step straight back. For now, start with that front leg. Step back behind you. Lunge it out. Give me a pulse. Step together and switch. So we're coming halfway up. Together and switch. Step back. Halfway. Drop down. Step together. Yeah. Feeling those legs. Take it down. Halfway. And up. Good. Now, let's open the arms out to the side. Kind of like a little goal post. And we're going to do a little press overhead each time that those knees extend. Down, halfway, all the way. Reach up and squeeze. Can you see it here? Here we go. Forgot I was facing side for a second. Halfway and press. Halfway and press. Four more right here. It's four and squeeze. Three and press one more on both legs. Reach it and lift it. Last set. Up. Hold. Walk it out. Great job, you guys. From here, all I want you to do is give me a tap to the side. Here. Reach down through the leg. Good. Now let's really wake up the shoulders here. We're going to start with a little arm circle. Front to back, opening up to the chest. Just keep that foot tapping side to side. Getting used to a little lateral movement. Good. Now instead of circling front to back, take it back to front. Just getting the shoulder joint ready for movement. Good. Four more. Three more. Two more. And one. March 
kitchen hold. I think we're ready to go, yes? Okay, let's go grab those heavy dumbbells. Carefully pick up your weights. Even if they weigh two pounds, use your legs to pick them up. So we're gonna start off with our lunge position. So I want you to bring your right foot forward. Left leg back. Now my left arm is gonna press up as my right knee bends. Looks like this. Down, up. So I'm bending and dropping into my lunge, pushing that weight. Now I want you to notice the weight is slightly in front of my head here. We never want it to go behind the head. Push that arm up, then both knees straight down. Working in opposition, right leg, left arm. Push it up. Good, let's do four more right here. It's four, three, two, one. Take your lunge down, just hold it. Just give me a little pulse here. We're gonna hinge forward at the hips. Reach that hand towards your foot. You're gonna keep that pulse and give me a row back. Now, this is kind of like a lawnmower pull. And I want you to turn through your chest, through your shoulders. So we're gonna get the core going with that nice rotation, pull back. You feeling the thighs yet? I am. Pull back and twist, squeeze. Good, just give me four more. Come on, stay here. Four, three, two, last one. Woo, we did it, bring it up. Take a minute to breathe. We're gonna turn it around to the other side. So let's just set it up. It's your stationary lunge, opposite arm overhead press. Here we go, down, up. Keep the back up tall. Keep that front knee right over your ankle. Don't let it go past your toes. Check the hand, is it slightly in front of you? We wanna be able to see that weight in our peripheral vision the entire time. Heart rate's climbing, you can hear it in my voice. We're breathing a little heavier now. This is that metabolic conditioning part. For one more, come on. Four, three, two, last one. Oh yeah, now hold it down, pulse it. Deep breath, hinge forward. Give me the long more pull turning to the chest. Open that shoulder, eyes are focused downward. Keep that lunge pulse. Breathe. I know we're working hard, but you can do this. Pull back, pull back. Stay low, eight more. Six, come on, last four, stay with me. It's two, last one. Great work, come on up. Carefully set those weights down. Ooh, how we feel. So we're gonna move on to the floor. We're gonna do a little push-up to a plank combination. Now, unless your push-up is perfect and you can tap the ground with your chest, then I want you to stay on your knees. But if you can tap the ground with your chest on your toes with great form, go ahead and use the toes. Here's what we got. Hands are wider than shoulder width. You're gonna bring the midline of your chest through your thumbs. Biggest mistake with push-ups is doing them back here. Way too much shoulders. We want the chest doing it all. So we're gonna come to the knees. We're gonna tap the floor with the chest. Now, extend the legs. Pivot, turn into a side plank. If you need to modify this, drop your bottom knee to the floor. Come back down, abs tight. Softly lower those knees. Tap the floor. Extend up, side plank. We got it. Just a little bit quicker tempo. Tap, push up. Tap, push up. All the way down. All the way up. Now, making sure that you're not sagging through your hips. Your abs are tight. Keep that torso in a nice straight line for me. If you want to make it a little harder, try looking up to your top hand. We have one more. Extend, 
Beautiful. Now take it back to a plank. Just hold it here. Feet together. We're on our toes. Bring your shoulders over your palms. Press away from the floor. Take a deep breath. Four. Three. Two. Oh my goodness. Come on down. Child's pose and breathe. Nice work. How you feel? You ready to spike your heart rate up a little bit? Come on up. We got a little cardio going on. March it out. Are you ready, Peanut? She's tired. Okay. So what you're going to do is a decelerated squat jump. So instead of thinking up on a squat jump, I want you to think landing light. Take your feet a little wider than hip width. Just keep it moving. Looks like this. Take it down. Here. So you're still jumping, but it's a lot less impact if you think down, down. Imagine whether you do or you don't, that you have a downstairs neighbor. You do not want to disturb them right now. You will land as light and quietly as you can. But like you're still springing up. Go down, down. Use your arms. Come on. Stay with me. You got eight, six, four, three, two. Hold it. Hold it. Oh my goodness. Come on up. Take a minute to breathe. Rest. We do all that one more time. Oh joy. Let's get our heavy weights. We're going back to your lunge to press. And we're going to start to this side first. So take a deep breath. Find your lunge position. Weight in front of the shoulder. Ready? Let's do it. Down and up. Bend that back knee. Keep that weight in your peripheral vision. Now, the first time we did this, we were learning, we were rehearsing. Second time is performance grade. So I want super strong energy, perfect form the entire time. Keep going. Four more. Two more. Last one. Yes! Take it down. Pulse. Hey, I'm breathing hard too. Hinge forward. Lawn mower row. Let's go. Pull it back. You can just let your back arm hang. Turn the chest. Hold that lunge. I know those thighs are burning. They're supposed to be. Stay strong, guys. Come on, we got this. Create definition through your body right here. Eight, seven, six, five. I need four more. Don't quit. Four, three. Take it to the finish. Two last one. You got it. Woo, come on up. Breathe. Turn it around. Find your lunge stance. Wait in front of that shoulder. Are we ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Down and up. Your body goes down, that arm goes up. Keep it in the peripheral. Press good. Try not to lean through your torso. Stay strong and centered. Use the core to stabilize. Uh-huh. Come on. Last four. Two. One more. Take it down, pulse, and hold it. You ready for that lawnmower pull? Sure we are, okay, hinge forward. Here it comes, pull back, squeeze. Keep the back flat and long, don't slouch forward. Pull with the back and the side body. Wind up that old lawnmower. Pull that cord. I don't even think they have those anymore. We have to imagine it. Squeeze back. Come on. Four, three, two, last one, don't skip it. Great job. Carefully set those weights to the floor. Take a minute. Push up time, plank time. So now you know it. Let's go right into the full version. Remember, we're trying to touch the floor lightly with the chest. Don't slam into it. Ready? Here we go. 
Full push up. Extend up. Full push up. Turn front. Reach. Light on the knees. Tap the floor. Bring your chest between your thumbs. Make sure those hands are not in front of the body. Right underneath you. We have four more. Keep alternating. Three. Last two. Nice full range of motion all the way. One more. We don't have to do these again. This is it. Oh, now hold that plank. Hold center. Hands underneath you. Core strong. Arms strong. Legs strong. Everything is strong. Come down. Breathe. Sit back. Stretch. Woo, we did it, you guys. All right. Guess what? We have to repeat one more setup. Decelerating squat jobs. Those weren't so bad, were they? Yes, I'm sweating. Hope you are too. Ready? Take it down. Let's go. Light. Don't wake up your neighbor. You can do it on your mat. I'm doing it because I'm sweating on the floor and I don't want to flip. Happens. Squeeze. Get low in that squat. Come on. Using everything in the body here, but especially all that muscle mass in your lower half. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it. My favorite part. Come up. Shake it out. How'd we do, Peanut? She gave us a 10. Okay. Let's breathe for a second. We're gonna trade out lighter weights, the second set. So we're moving on, you guys. How do we feel? Yeah, you good? You with me? Okay, so let's move on. Set number two, we're gonna do some side lunges. We're gonna work your upper back and your biceps. So, watch me once. You come out, open, in, other side. Out, open, hammer curl at the top. Jump on in as soon as you think you got it. So it's a side lunge, rear fly, hammer curl. Triple thread exercise, lots going on. Don't worry though, you can do it, it's not that difficult. Break it down, reach one, lift two, reach three, curl up on four. That's all it is. You got it. That's it. Now, when you lunge, hinge back at your hips. Keep your back real flat. Lift the arms. Squeeze through your upper back. On that hammer curl. Elbows are in tight to your sides. Don't swing that weight. Control the entire time. Four more here. Three. Give me two more, come on. We got it. Last one. Uh-huh. Hold it. We're gonna step forward. Reaching both arms out, palms down. Pull in, other foot out. And in, keep your core steady, strong. Try not to move that upper body. Faster tempo. Push, pull, push, pull. Now, if those weights get to be too heavy, you can do opposite arm. Stay with both as long as you can, but know that's an option. Stepping into it, keeping that lower half in motion, burning more calories. I know. Press it, don't lock your elbows. Four. Three, two, last one. Hold it, feet together. Narrow squat, bend your knees, squeeze your inner thighs, pulse. Elbows go behind the body. I'm just gonna turn to the side. We're gonna do a little kickback, turn the palms up. Pull in. Now drop your chin to your chest, you don't have to look at me. Lengthen the neck, keep the spine long. Your chest is open, don't slouch. Turn those palms up as your elbows extend. Squeeze through those triceps. Press. Stay low in the legs, come on. 
I know. Hang tight. We got this. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. I need two more. Don't stop. Last one. Great job. Come on up. Let's set that weight down. Alrighty. You good? So we're going to spike the heart rate with a little mountain climber. Sorry. Now, remember you can modify in several ways, one of them being holding onto a chair. Let's take it down to a plank position first. Now, what we're going to do with this mountain climber is actually step on the ball of the foot. So I want you to bring your knee through to your chest. Stand on it for a second. Uh-huh. Now, let's go a little faster. I'm going to do this on my mat. So we're going to speed it up here. Tap that foot in. And for those of you that want an extra challenge, jump off the foot. Come down. Rest. Breathe. Peanut is sleeping through all of this. Okay, let's catch our breath. We're going to do all that one more time. Take a second. Find your light weights. Carefully. Stand on up. So you know what to expect now. No surprises. Do your best. Remember, you can get rid of your weights at any time. Let's start this way first. Ready? Shoulders back. Side lunge, rear fly. Let's go. Here. Curl up. Switch. Hinge forward. Reach to your foot. Control that fly. Lift it. Don't swing those weights. Protect your joints. Keep it in the muscle by using control, not momentum. It's easy to say now, I know. When we get tired, that's all we want to do. Start throwing things around. That's when we got to let that mental focus come in, right? Breathe through the pain. Take it out. Squeeze. Zip your inner thighs on the way back. Squeeze those heels together. Good. Lift up. Eight more alternating. Pull. Come on, last six. You got it. Now these last four are the most important. Don't cut them short. Don't quit. Three. Last two. Give me one more, please. Great job. Take a breath. Stepping forward. Press and pull. Bring a faster tempo. Press, pull. Elbows are soft. Right out in front of your chest. So the ends of the weights are going to come close together, but never touch. Remember your options here. You can also be doing this. Uh-huh. Eight. Seven. I'm feeling this too. Six. Five. I'm not going to lie, it's hard. Four. But we're going to get through this together. Two more. Woo. Narrow squat. Pulse and breathe. You ready? Elbows up high. Turning the palms up. Relax your neck. Let's go. Pull us back. Palms up. Squeeze those inner thighs. Extend back. Use those triceps. Control that push. Get as low as you can in that narrow squat. Keep your chest open. Back of the neck is long. Stay with me, guys. Final four. Last two. Awesome job. Let's set those weights to the side. You ready for those climbers? Yes, of course we are. Let's just get them done. Are you ready, Peanut? Cheer us on. Okay. Here we go. Start with just your tap. Step on the foot. Make it faster when you're ready. Jump.
jump it if you want to. I'm not talking right now because I'm really, really heavy. I'm working really hard. You should be too. Four, three, two, one. Rest. You did it. Take a breath. Stay on the floor. We're gonna move on from here. I'm stepping on your bone. Put an alpha on your bone. Okay guys, so we're gonna do another step for our chest. Back and the abs. And then you don't have a cardio on the floor. Yeah, okay. So we're done with the cardio. That's why I gave you those mountain climbers last. So let's grab our heavy dumbbells and get ready to work the chest. So heavy weights in hand, brace your abs tight, come back onto your back, knees bent, feet flat, elbows wide, they're not on the floor, your arms look like a goal post. Push halfway up, push all the way up, halfway up, now all the way up, halfway, now all the way. Control that weight. Squeeze, focus on the chest. Halfway, all the way. Half, and lift, good. And push. Halfway, all the way, we got it. Keep squeezing through your chest. Press those weights up right over the midline of your chest, not your shoulder. Half, and up. Four more. Squeeze. This is three. Give me two more just like this. One more half. One more all the way. Keep your arms up. Now press your shoulder blades down into the floor. Extend your legs to the ceiling as straight as you can. Keep your feet together. Abs in tight. We're gonna lower the legs. Half over the floor. Come up to the arms. Your arms aren't moving. You're sitting up through your abs to lift those legs. Now, if you need to make this easier, bend your knees, make your range of motion smaller. If you need to make it harder, go lower, but do not arch your back. Inhale and exhale. I want you to think about zipping up through your pelvic floor all the way up into your belly button to lift those legs up. Arms haven't moved, right? Don't let them start to melt. Push them up strong to the ceiling, press your shoulders down into your mat. Inhale, exhale, give me two more. Breathe, last one. Down, up, we made it. Bend your knees, release your arms carefully. Set those weights to the side. Hug your knees to your chest. Rock on up. Let's turn over so that we're lying face down. So we're gonna work your back. From here, bend your elbows. Pull your shoulder blades down. You're gonna lift your chest and curl your heels in. Here, extend the arms, extend the legs. Pull and reach. So lift your chest, lift your thighs, curling in, bending the elbows by the sides, press your shoulders down your back. Lift as high as you can. Keep your chin to your chest, though. Four more. Two more right here. Lift a little higher. Last one. Great job. Now, give me an elbow plank position. You're gonna clasp your hands together. Tuck your toes under. Bring your feet all the way together. Lifting up. Strong plank position. Now, press back through your chest and shoulders. Pipe the hips. Come down with your front knee to your elbow. Step back and lift. Back knee to the elbow. Up two. Down two. Working those obliques. Whole entire core is working hard. So are your arms and your shoulders. Everything. You lift up. Contract down. 
strong. Steady. Two more. Last one. Come back. Release. Child's pose. Take a deep breath. We have exhausted peanut. Okay. One more time through this, guys, and then we are done. That wasn't so bad, right? Not as bad as the mountain climbers. I don't think, anyway. All right. Look, we should all be sweaty messes right now. Nobody's coming out of this looking pretty. Okay. Pick up your weights. Come back. Elbows in down. Halfway up. All the way up. Press. Good. Keep your abs engaged. Even though your torso is staying steady against the floor, you can always think about bracing your abs in towards your spine. Making sure that you can always breathe comfortably though. You never want to hold the breath to engage our abs. It's two different things. Press up good. Halfway. All the way. Halfway. All the way. Stay strong. Start to feel the chest. Start to feel those arms too, I know. Four more. Don't let your elbows touch the floor at any time. Three. Squeeze. Give me two more. Come on. Last one. Hold the arms all the way up. Here we go. Straight legs. Take it down for two. Up for two. Press your shoulder blades against the mat. Keep the back from arching. Don't let your arms melt. Inhale. Slip up from the pelvic floor to the belly button. Use the lower part of that abdominal wall. You guys are always asking me about the lower belly pooch. It's a great exercise for it. Sit up and engage. But you gotta think of pulling in, not pushing out when you contract those abs. So imagine you're zipping up your tightest pair of jeans as your legs come in. Draw everything in. Inhale. Don't forget the inhale part. And exhale to lift. We have one more here. Zip up. Beautifully done. Bring it in. Let's go ahead and come up and just set those weights to the side because we are done with them. Turning over face down. Almost there. Almost there. Right, Peanut? So we're starting lifted. Elbows bend. Release down. Curl in and up. Extend. Pull. Inhale. Exhale. Don't stress your neck out by looking up. Keep your focus on the floor. Slide those shoulder blades down to your hips as you lift. I'm not going to go all the way down because I don't want to switch my mic because then I can't really. But you can make this a little bigger than I am. Two more. Oh yeah, last one. Here we go. Yeah. Elbow plank position. Let's just get this done. Clasp your hands together. Bring your feet together. Push down through the shoulders. Cap your core. Look up. Abs into the spine. Ready? Pike up. Foot knee to the elbow. Step back. Switch. Two counts. Two counts. Slow and strong. Exhale down. Inhale back. One more on both legs. Last one. Hold it. Release. Stretch back. Child's pose. Take a deep breath. Awesome work, you guys. Okay. Let's just calm down. Stretch out. We're on our way. Onto the hands and the knees. I want you to lunge 
forward with one foot. Shift all your weight into that front leg. My opposite hand is on the inside of my foot. Just turn and look up. Okay, come back down. Now you can stay on the hands or try to lower to your elbows, but I want you to just sink your hips to the floor. So you're gonna feel a stretch that back thigh and hip flexor, as well as that front hamstring too. Now come back to your hands if you're on your elbows. Extend the front leg as straight as you can. You can flex the toes. If you wanna pull back, you can. Get a little calf stretch too. Release it carefully. Switch legs. Step forward. Lunge into it. Hand to the mat. Opposite arm reaches. Just thinking about slowing down our breath. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Hands to the floor or elbows to the floor. Relax and release. Come on up. Shift that weight back. Extend that front leg. Start to flex the toes. If you can, pull back. Good, bring it in. Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes under into the floor. Lift up and back, let's pedal those heels. Stretch out those calves a little bit more. Relax your head, neck, and shoulder. Just kind of shake everything out. Walk your hands back to your feet. Slowly roll up through the back. Take both hands behind you. Open across your chest. I know, but doesn't it feel so good when it's done? Hard work in the middle of the workout, but afterwards you feel great, right? Hands forward, round down. Inhale up. Exhale release. So if you want to continue stretching, please feel free to go on to one of my stretching routines. Might be a little bit sore tomorrow, so make sure that you follow my recommended workout for tomorrow's session. So you can keep moving, but work out the soreness in the body. You don't want to do another high intensity strength workout tomorrow too. Thank you guys so much. Great job today. It was a pleasure being your workout partner, and I'll look forward to our next session together. Peanut does too. Bye guys.